and help yourself, could you? Welcome to Roll Initiative. Um, this is episode 15, and we are joined by a couple of guests this time around. If you couldn't tell, the many faces up at the top of the screen. Um, at the end of our last session, perilous journey through Durion's dark corridors and catacombs left the group feeling a little worse for wear. Everyone was shaken and disturbed from the things that they saw. And in the end, they had to fight off, uh, well, Zan's old mentor in the form of a horrific monster. They finally did defeat the beast and found themselves lying in the sand in the desert. Up ahead in the distance, a group of people surround uh, a group of people are standing at a cart surrounded by undead fighting them off as swarms try to overtake them when the party gathers their surroundings their ears ringing loudly they turn to see a darkly clad wizard one who seems familiar standing just behind them wielding a blade with a single eye his expression looks uh Angry and confused, I guess, is the best way to put it. He just stares down at the group, contempt in his eyes. A loud clamor going on in the distance. And this is where we are starting today's session. So, let me put on something a little bit better. Uh, question, DM. Yes. Uh, are we at full health? Or, in, uh, just in case, like spell casting wise you know, spell slots. So, no, you are not at full health. You're at whatever health you're in whenever you left. All Tier, right, nobody health, knows exactly what happened to you. Um, yeah, nobody knows what happened to you. We'll All right. That. But you are as you were. Sounds good. So, going to begin the, the session with the chaos group. Uh, Zan, Michelle, Cirrus, Tyr, Roll, oh, and Rosalon has joined you, all lying in the desert sand, staring before this dark wizard. I have Arion a question. is in one hand, the blade cracked. What's your question? Where's Pasita? She does not appear to be there. Okay. I know uh, one or two of you noticed the fact that she wasn't with you um, throughout the encounters within the blade. Exactly where she's at, you don't know. Okay, so how far are we from Malleus? You're right in front of him. You're like uh -huh. eight feet away, maybe. Oh, I'm going to draw my sword. Draw what sword? I don't have Kelanon, so I have a short sword. Or I've okay. got two. That's why I was asking. Okay. I remembered. All right. Draw your weapons. Um, yep. I want me... everyone to give me some initiative rolls. Uh, yeah. That includes you, Dave. <laughs> This is just a 20. Yeah, the d20. Yep. And add your dexterity. I got a 10. I got a 10. Oh, let me know whenever you're ready. I'll tell you what I got. I'm ready. 15. Tear got a 16. Rosalon. I'm going to get her character sheet. Plus four. Said you got a 16 tier? Yes. Michelle? He has a 21. 
Yeah, right. 21. Okay, I think. Oh, and I'm going to have to roll one for uh, our missing compatriot here. God, what a combo. Um, Tears got okay. a sixteen. Tears got a sixteen? Yes. <clears throat> okay. I think that's all right. So everyone should be able to see the turn order there. Uh, at the top of the round, we have Michelle. You get to go first. Now you're all knocked down, so we'll take your movements. Stand, but you are within striking range of Malleus. That does not apply to all of us. Okay, Mr. Barbarian. I have athlete. Yeah. Well, it's your turn. <laughs> Uh, well, I will use five feet of movement to get up of my 45. Uh, I'm going to draw the broken lesser sword thing, the broken. Uh, I'm going to rush up to him, and I am going to throw two attacks at Malleus F as I go into a rage, because fuck this dude and putting me in a nightmare. That's fair. Just a moment here. Populating a battle map. There we go. Yeah, it's a little bit better. You know, it's weird to be able to drag and drop your faces and get your tokens out here. And now that functionality is not working. Because, why not? Um, Did they change it in an update, maybe? No, I got it. I just have to do it from a different menu. <laughs> Oh god, token of the giant. I think all of yours are going to Okay, there we go. Battle map. Enjoy. Um, Am I so in the middle of uh, all them? Yes, you are. <laughs> okay. Yes, you are. You and Jace, who requested to be an octopus. <laughs> for some reason. And you are thoroughly surrounded. I mean, they're a ton of these guys coming towards you. Um, in this instance, with this particular map, uh, yeah, we'll just say a square is five feet. All right. So, where was I? Uh, you were going to be making an attack, correct, Michel? Yeah, I was getting up, moving forward, and attacking him. I've already rolled the attack roll, and that's when... Sorry, what was the attack roll? 25 total. Okay, that's a fucking hit. 
I'm gonna roll the other attack roll before I roll the damage. Uh, 19, so 19 plus 8, so 27. Yep, yep. Okay. Give me some damage. Hold my beer. Okay, I think I need some Slayer for this. Thir 13 for the first attack. 13 damage? Did you say 13 damage? 13 damage for the first attack and 9 for the second. There were three ones in that damage roll. That's disappointing. That was really sad. It was a five and then three ones. Ooh. Still chunky damage. And I used my bonus action to rage, so that is my All right, Rosalind's turn. Dear Lord, I have so many freaking character sheets here. Try and sort through this mess. Um, because while I've uploaded Chris and Jace's character sheet, I still have them here just in case there's something that I've forgotten. So. Yeah, I think you pretty much got most of the stuff from our... Actually... She's taking her round to heal. She places a hand on the back of Cirrus, and warm energy flows through him, healing him for 17 points. Oh, you... Yeah, I know you guys were in a rough spot, so I'll be nice to you. Tear, Just your turn. Absolute saint. <clears throat> All right, so, um, I will snap my finger, and you see this long sword appear in my hand, <clears throat> and I will move up to. Let's see. So I'm looking at the map here, and you said, "Yeah, uh, we have the two special characters out there." Those are the other player. Uh, those are the other two guys. Yep. Yes. Okay. Um, let me see here. I will go up to one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll go up straight line up to the middle right there. Uh, the let me see if I can paint the. Can you do like a long press? Should right there. Give me one of those. Okay. Right there. I want to move up there. That's 30 no. feet. We do have Malleus behind us. And I will cast uh, Sword Bursts. Just a comment. I We were all prone. Ah, yes. That is that is correct. Sorry. Right. Take me back. You should have 15 Thank foot you. of movement. So. Mm, that's, that's still good enough right there. Um, yeah, I'll just move up as far as I can. And then I will cast uh, and let's see. They're they're all uh, they're all undead, right? From the looks of it. Yes, yes they are. Okay. <laughs> and I will cast protection from good and evil on myself. Loving those little <laughs> noises. You're just so happy that they're undead. <laughs> That's, you, they'll see. Um, so I cast that on myself and have my... Protection from good and evil. Is that resistance to a certain form of damage? Or... Uh, the protection grants several benefits. Creatures. Um, 
So it's pretty much just like one willing creature you touch, which is myself. I touch myself. Uh, protecting against certain types of creatures, which would be undead uh, among the list. And it says that creatures of those types have disadvantage on attack rolls against the target. The target cannot be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. If the target is already charmed, frightened, eh, uh, the target has advantage on any new saving throw against their prevalent effect. Ah, oh, paladins are so gross. Okay. <laughs> Just be glad. Then, Larry. Uh, that was my action. And as my... I think I got a bonus action here. No, that's that's it. I'm just gonna save that as my entire turn. So next, Cirrus, you're up. You awaken and gaze upon Michelle in combat with this terrible creature. Okay. Uh, Melius is a caster. So I'm going to move up to here. You're going to try to get behind him? Yeah. Your flank. I am going to grapple him. I'm, what I'm going for is I need to immobilize at least one of his arms. You're going to grapple him? Yes. I, I do want to remind you, he's still holding on to that sword. It's cracked, but it's not broken. Yeah. All right. Give me a check. What kind of check? So you're trying to grapple him? Um, you just want me to do straight? Okay. Attack roll. It'd be athletics, right? Or no, it would be an attack roll. Yep. It'd be athletics for contesting. Uh, 17 plus, I'm not proficient in it, so it'd only be 23. Yeah, you got him. Only 23, but you got him. All right. Hmm. Well, I've still got another action. I want his hand. You want his hand. Yep, I want his free hand. And ask him to marriage or something? I want to take his hand. You can have it after I take it. No, I'm good. What do you mean, take it? You're going to try to tear his hand off? I want to summon my longsword. Okay. And then I am going to attack his hand. I remember what happened the last time I tangled with this guy, so. I. I'm going to impose a minus four on you if you're trying to get a specific part. Okay, that's fair. Since you're aiming specifically for his hand, but go for it. And since he is flanked and grappled, do I have advantage? Well, you're flanked. He's flanked. Oh, you mean Michelle on the other side? Yeah. In that scenario, yeah. Ooh. Uh, 18 and a 9. So, 18 plus 8, 26. Minus 4 is still 22. Yeah, 22. You're successful. You managed to chop off one of his hands. In a quick action, he lets out a wail in agony as the hand falls to the ground and continues wriggling in the sand. And that's all I can do. Jace's turn. Too bad he's not present. Um, now, when I last left Jace, he was a constrictor snake. So I'm going to say that he still is. He 
see the large serpent coil around the nearest undead and begin to bite it rapidly in quick in quick succession until it's nothing but a pile of bones on the ground. And now it's time to see what the hell Malleus is going to do. I have to open up a document. Bear with me. <laughs> you see what I was going for there with that little exchange? In- insert villain monologue. No, not a villain monologue. A villain stat block. No, it's not in this one. Different. Sorry, I've got so many documents, it's hard to track down something. Uh, There we go. I found it. Okay. Malleus begins to blink in and out of existence. His body comes back suddenly wreathed in fire and some distance away from the party. Around him is a 45 foot shadow. You can see the grass and plants below him begin to die. Actually, let me try to get a I know I can add an aura to characters. I just never mess with it. Well, I mean, you can draw a shape. I can. There's like an actual button to add an aura to certain certain characters. I just haven't really messed with it. Basically, half the map is covered in a dark shadow. <clears throat> All the grass begins to wilt in this area. You can see his form doesn't seem solid. He's kind of just blinking in and out of this plane, maybe to somewhere else, as if he's unstable. And that's his whole round. So, um, just a quick question. When he casts that... Uh, you said a dark aura around there or something, or is it like we're in like a darkness engulfs the entire area? It's like a darkness engulfs the area. And so can we see through the darkness or what? You can see through it. It seems like a shadow. Okay, okay. Just making sure. Zan, it's your turn. Uh, does he have like a main, like his main body instead of like an aura, his main body is still there? Yeah, that his icon is way over, way over to the right side here. Um, he is still there. He's just kind of blinking in and out. It seems like he's covered in fire as well. Good, good. I use that for strike strike as my bonus action. What's that? Sorry, I couldn't hear. Uh, I use Zephyr strike as my action or bonus action. Okay. Uh, uh, you mind elaborating on that? Uh, you move like the wind until the spell ends. Your movement doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. Once, once before the spell ends, you can give yourself an advantage on a weapon attack uh, roll in your turn. 
uh, does a, does an extra 1d8 force damage on hit, whether you hit or miss, your walking distance increases by 30 feet until the end of turn. Okay. Is this a melee attack? Uh, no, it does not say melee attack. Okay, I just wasn't sure. I need to know how to how to quantify this, I guess. It is a um, concentration, though. Okay. So, let me see. You it, are it's within a spell, his... not an attack. Yeah. You are within the aura right now. Um, ah, oh God. Can you guess what I'm going to say? I'm going to get out of that aura first. Uh, okay. Um, so, at the start of the round, I need you to give me a wisdom saving throw, Sarah. <clears throat> At the start of each character's round, actually. Yeah. Oh, I actually might pass this one. 18. Oh, wait, no. 17. 17? Uh, is a success. Barely. So, uh, that is a I'm success. I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm not too much better. I want to so. move next to Rosaline and take out my bow. And I'm going to strike him three times. Okay, that Zephyr ability is a spell, right? Is that an attack roll or is that a save? Uh, it is. A, it's like an attack roll. Okay, give me the attack roll. I know it said even if oh. you miss, it does certain damage, but. Well, hold on. Because that's not something I'm familiar with. It's a spell, and then it gives my advantage on one weapon attack on my turn. Okay. I'm going to pull this stuff up here. Is this a class ability? I'm not seeing it in my spell It book. is in Xanathar's Guide to Everything. It's a class okay, ability. Okay, thank you. Nat 20. Proceed. Plus 4. Of course. And I also uh, get one, be a hit. one extra d8 of damage. It's all force damage. The Zephyr Strike, anything related to Zephyr Strike is force damage. Okay. Oh, uh, I didn't do my plus nine on that. Oh, uh, 1d8 plus four. Six times two is 12 on the first one. Nineteen on the second attack. Did you roll the hit on the second one? Uh, or was yeah. that your hit? That was my hit. Nineteen does not hit. Twenty six. That's a hit. <laughs> Nine? Nine. Nine damage? Yeah. Okay. You loose an arrow, it strikes true, burying into the chest of the creature. You see a black something seeming to come from the chest. He blinks for a moment, and the arrow falls to the ground. The second goes straight towards him, but pierces his cloak. It doesn't seem to affect him in any way. The third actually does manage to strike him in the side of the neck with a loud scream. He reaches up to grab the arrow and draws it from his throat. Dave, it's your turn. You are surrounded by undead right now. Yes, uh, yes. I need you to give me a wisdom saving throw, buddy. Which I know you're not proficient in. Yeah, I got three. <laughs> okay. Uh, three. Nice. Roll a d6. Uh, 
You feel a sudden force, a wave of energy overcomes you. You take eight force damage and are moved. way back through the undead, which are scattered to the side. So you're way over here in the middle of the map. Oh, wow. What so, do you want to do for your round? So what is the shadow? Uh, how does that affect? You're not sure. Um, it looks like some kind of crazy, chaotic aura. Uh, the effects are different for each individual, it seems. You're the only one who's really had anything happen to him, so. Okay, I got you. So how do I draw on here? Um, there should be like a little pencil tool on the left. Click that, you can go freehand or draw shapes. Okay, awesome. or... All right, so I'm going to run uh, at this man and I'm gonna stab it. And then I'm going to, as of my second attack, I'm going to jump into this thing and stab that one too. Okay, let me clear your drawings. So, give me an attack roll for the first one. Ah, oh, dang it, I got rid of my aura. <laughs> Can I just click on my sword and it roll for me? Yeah. Yeah, I think you can, since I actually put your weapon on your character sheet. Do you see that? Give me a moment. Oof. Yep, I see it. Okay, so 22. That's a hit. Uh, can you roll for damage on your sword? Uh, probably not, because it's two dice. It's a 1d12 plus 1d6 force. Let me get the dice out. Uh, you can go down. There's a little dice icon on that toolbar. And you can roll it that way. I think yeah. you can type in... So I rolled slash. a 12 with, the, with that one dot. And I rolled the d6 too. I got a yeah, 3. Top... 3, okay. So a total of 15 damage. Yeah. By the way, if you type like slash roll 15 D6, plus your strength. Oh yeah, which is like a five, right? Or I have know, four. four. So I'll be like, okay. 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 With a heavy swing from the war blade. Uh, you feel the force emanating from it as it swings through the creature. Some kind of uh, otherworldly power launches the bones in all directions as the skeleton shatters. You run and leap towards the second one and give me an attack roll. Twenty's gonna hit. Damage one more time. Got an eight and a six. Plus four is 18. Yeah. <sighs> Same thing with the second one. You swing your blade and you can feel a rushing wind surrounding it as you cleave through the skeleton and its bones shatter across the sand. Uh, and I think that's nice. your round, right? Yep, Just that's the two. it. Okay. The undead begin to march. Bring it on. Trying to count here. 
All right, dear Lord, here we go. So I'm going to go from top to bottom and just see where these attacks fall. They're not strong enemies, but there's a lot of them. <clears throat> The first draws a rusted sword and makes a heavy lunge towards Cirrus, who quickly parries it out of the way. Michelle, your armor class is like 20, right? 19. 19. Hmm. Okay. Two uh, flank you from either side. You have something to say, Cirrus? Yeah, I think my... What was your roll? Because I think my AC is only like a 15 now. Yeah, it missed. Trust me. Okay. <laughs> I was just, you yeah. know, I was in the... Uh... Uh, yeah, I do appreciate that. Um, actually, yeah, that's a good point. Tyr, are you wearing your armor? Uh, let's see. Last time... Desert? La last... Uh, <clears throat> well, I only had... Uh, what was my armor I had? Uh, I had half plate on. I don't remember if you were wearing it when you were resting. Yeah, I, I was wearing. I was wearing it. Yeah, I was oh. wearing it. Um, to flank Michelle and attempt to attack him from either side, he quickly and nimbly dodges under one blade and kicks, shoving the other one back. Uh, one lunges forward, trying to attack Sarah. Sarah, what's your AC? I'll pull it up here. Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh. He narrowly cuts you with a. Nasty broken blade dealing four damage. Three of them encircle tier. Each have disadvantage, so see how this goes. Wow. Um, let's see. I'm tired of asking everybody what the AC is. Oh, yeah, you've got freaking 20 armor class. So. You are statistically impossible to be hit right now. Uh, I got a 19 and a 17 on one of them. Tear, his AC is oh, yeah. 20. They, all, they also have disadvantage against me too, so. Yeah. Yeah, so I got a 19 and a 17 on this guy. I was like, ah, oh, 19, that's pretty nice, but it didn't matter. With, with the disadvantage? No. Oh, because I, have, I, when... I do have the protection on me. Yeah, I know. I was adding that. That's why it's statistically oh. impossible. Yeah, for you I know. To get hit right now. Let's see here. There's quite a few of them on you now that you're tearing them down there, uh, Dave. Let's see. Hmm. One attack sinks true on Jace, dealing a total of four damage. You are nearly surrounded over there, Chris, but you're still able to parry and dodge any attacks that are thrown your way. The large sword uh, almost acting as a shield for their blows. So three mm. of them are swinging at you, and you're still able to parry them all off. Go back right. to Michelle at the top of round two. Michelle? Can I push him between these two? The one that's attacking Sarah and the one to my right. Uh, yeah, like take the place of this guy, push him away. Like right here. Or... Oh, yeah, you could do that. You may provoke an attack of opportunity if you're turning your back to him, though. I don't care, because uh, I'm making a beeline straight for me. Okay, let me see how they do. God, armor is stupid. All right. He's also inside that thing, too. Uh, yep, I do need to make a wisdom save. Yeah, they tried to hit you, but were unsuccessful. I, I'm rolling save. my wisdom. 17. And, 17. Uh, yep, it's a 17. Cause I'm... 17 succeeds. Oh. You feel this overwhelming force laying on top of you like a wet blanket, yet you're still able to remain composed. Thank you, Daddy. Um, so you're not going to be able to get quite too malleous in this round. Wait, what's your movement? Like 35 or 40? 45. Or 5, 10, 50, 20. 
Yeah, you can. God. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then I am going to. <laughs> Damn it, <I'm>... man. <laughs> You're right my way. <laughs> I am going to recklessly attack for my first attack. Giving him advantage on your next round. I'm abundantly aware of what it does. Okay, go ahead. Uh, well, that's a seven plus eight. Whatever that accounts to. Seven plus eight to hit? Yep. Fifteen. Fifteen. That is not going to be a success. Okay, I'm uh, making my second attack flat. Uh, 18 plus 8. That is going to hit. How's that feature work? Reckless attack? No, uh, I was thinking of one of mine. I'm sorry. I was talking about seven, 17. 17 damage? Dear lord. Yep. Let me do some maths here. Oh no, we made the DM do math. How dare you make me do math? I just want to find out where he's at so far. Okay. With a heavy swing from your large blade. That was, you can that was, four, that was 14, not 17. 14. Um, Unless I'm missing something that I somehow calculated the first. You make a heavy and reckless swing of your blade. It slices straight downwards through Malleus's form as the sword seemingly blinks through his body. You recoil and draw the blade again and come up in a horizontal strike, slashing him straight across the stomach. If he had any guts inside of him, they'd be spilling out in the desert floor. Instead, you just see a black ichor oozing from his corpse-like form. Ooh, that's nasty. Uh, I use my keyword, can't touch this, for my bonus action. <laughs> okay. Which gives him, uh, well, they cancel out. because you're I am aware guy. they cancel out. I was saying it out loud. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, he had advantage against you. Then you imposed disadvantage. Now it's... No. Yep. Never should have gave you those pants. Never should have given me these pants. The slippery, slippery devil. <clears throat> Let's see here. See, typically Be glad I didn't like make this. the keyword uh, hit me down. Um, see, typically in a time like this, Rosaline would be using one of the many features of Kalanon, specifically in, uh towards damaging undead, but she doesn't have it, so that makes her a little bit different to play. Um, Roseline draws a holy symbol from around her neck and casts Turn Undead. All undead within 30 feet had to succeed a save or be feared. And only one did. So basically all the undead you see here except for this one right there failed their save means on their turn they're going to be fleeing and running away like little bitches. <clears throat> Tyr, it's your turn. The undead around you are shaking in their boots. Spare one. Alright, uh, let me roll, uh, roll for wisdom saving throw. Thank you. 
I have a twenty. Uh where where is tier at? Uh, oh, no, tier my... is yeah, sorry. You see me? I I right thought there. you were Dave for a minute. I was like, uh... all right. <clears throat> so I roll a twenty. That's a fifteen plus five. Um, let's see, and then I will cast. Sword. This, guy, this oh. guy also is not turned. I didn't realize it's 30 foot, so it went all the way down to like this row. Uh, mm -hmm. What are you casting? Uh, let's see here. Uh, give me a sec. Let me read up my spell here for good protection. Da, da, da. Uh, okay, so I'm good with that. Now I'm just going to cast Sword Burst. Oh, dear Lord. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, so I create a momentary circle of spectral plates that sweep around me. Uh, each creature, which is five feet, uh, must make a uh, dexterity saving throw, or um, yeah, they must yeah dexterity saving throw and or take what is it two uh, d six damage. Only one of them can make such a save because the others are feared, and he fails. So why don't you roll up some damage for me? All right. Uh, that is 11 points of damage. 11 to each. I rolled a 5 and a 6 on D on those D6s. Okay. And then, that was my... That was an action. It's my... Mm, Let's see, do I have anything else here I could do? Um, yeah, I guess that's, that's all I can do uh, so far. But um, yeah, I'll back one, uh, head over to Hills. Uh, north, I mean, north. There you go. And okay. that should end my turn. Tear is wreathed in blades of white hot flame. They begin to spin around him, gnashing into the crusted bony bodies of the undead in front of him. Uh, limbs are flayed off of a couple of them, yet they still shamble, held together by supernatural powers. Two of them are now broken free from their fear effect that Rosalani cast on them. Uh, so those three are now mobile, barely. Cirrus, your turn. I need you to give me a saving throw. Okay. It is 19 plus 2, so 21. Good God. Okay. Succeed. Your turn. Okay. Uh... I can't in good conscience leave everyone. God damn it. Okay. So I am going to drop the sword and summon the halberd and attack this one right here. Very good. Give me an attack roll. It is 11 plus 8, so 19. That's and going to succeed. D. Give me a second. D10. So... 11 damage. Yeah. It's only 11. Okay. The mighty swing of your halberd, you manage to cleave the leg off of the undead before you. It shambles to the ground, still raising a blade towards you, trying to swing in your direction, but it's not very mobile. Okay. Um, I guess I'll attack it again. Alright, uh, it's it's down, so Yeah, uh, I mean I'll hit it either way. It's twenty. Yeah. Okay, well, you hit it. And that is another about uh, ten. Ten more damage. Bring yeah. the halber down and smash the head of the undead in front of you. The rest of its body deanimates as the bones fall apart in the desert sand. Okay, and I will move to right there. To point it one more time? Thank you. All right. 
see here. Now, the trouble with Jace's character is all of his spells, I usually let him do him. I have his spell book in my phone, actually. Uh, but I don't typically cast form, so. Does he have Moonbeam? <laughs> he has a lot of spells. Like a lot of spells. After tearing one of those undead apart as a giant constrictor snake, you see smoke clouding the form of the serpent as it transforms back into a human. He raises his hands up, clutching some spell casting components in one hand as uh, flames race across his body, shedding a bright light all around him. You can see that basically his entire form is shrouded in fire. Imagine, uh, <laughs> just think about like Fantastic Four. Um, so yeah, flame on. <clears throat> Let's see here. All creatures near him take 1.10 fire damage. And there's a lot of them. So... These three zombies are now, or these three undead are now on fire. Four are undead, not bad. And that's going to be turn for him. And now it's time for Malleus to take his turn. Let me go ahead and mark the ones that are still turned. Uh, because most of them are, but a handful aren't. Any of them with the purple dot are still turned. <clears throat> All right. Malleus. Top of his turn. Let's see. <laughs> I didn't realize those were all still turned. If I'd known that, I would have just ran for Malleus. <laughs> Oops. I mean, he's still out there. So what's the effect on him when they're turned? They're feared. But, yeah, basically they're not going to do anything until you hit him. Oh, I got you. I thought they... No. They just can't actively move closer to the target of their fear. But they're not afraid of anything else. Um, I'm trying to look up a ruling here. So give me a moment. It's a it's an interesting scenario. What's the ruling? Can you cast a spell with somatic require or yeah, somatic requirements if you're missing a hand? Not if he's holding a sword. Um, it could be a uh, an arcane focus or something, but if his arcane focus is a sword, uh, the sword uh, is his arcane focus. Yeah, yeah, the sword yeah. is arcane focus, so he would he could still cast it. it yeah, he, he it still cast it on the spell components as well, even with the arcane focus. Um, I think it's specifically Warlock still has to have some of their uh, cost components. Not The components that don't have a cost attached to them are fine, but the ones that do have a cost attached to them, they have to expend stuff they couldn't use the arcane for. All right, yeah, so what is the spell really you're fall into, He doesn't really fall into the realm of a Warlock anymore. He's his own class now that he's advanced to a Lich. I don't uh, know. What's his... Um... What's Malleus's spell... go-to spell is Fireball. Oh. <clears throat> I mean, it's up to you. Yeah, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to find out some rulings here because, again, the sword is a spellcasting focus, but I don't know.
Fireball requires you to have a pointing finger. So does not require both hands. Fine, I'll just take his other hand. One fireball coming up. <clears throat> <laughs> so, let's see. 20 foot spear. I am right in front of him, so he can't cast through me without hitting me. Uh, yeah. Actually, fireball can waft, so... Oh, it can loft? Yeah, it, well, it's it's not like a giant ball of fire. It's a little tiny like pinprick of fire that kind of flows until it gets, its, gets it's, to its destination. It's technically a grenade. That's all it is. Yeah. Holy crap, that's the fireball range? Yes. If you are nice. in that circle, please give me a dexterity Four. saving throw. Circle. Uh, square. Say. Does this a call? Square. This triggers my danger sense, correct? It does. Because it is a dexterity saving throw that you can see. Hey, Zach, I'm immune to fire. Yes, you are. Twenty-three. Fifteen. Uh Well, what was the, uh, it's a saving throw against uh, Dexterity? Yeah, Dexterity save, half damage on success. I got a 15. Spell save is... Da, 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 da. Okay, so um, you got a 15. Uh, Michelle yeah. got a 15. Zan, you got a 20 something? 23. <laughs> and Cirrus is immune. And I can make the save if you want. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Why waste time? Okay. Oh, by the, uh, by the way, um, actually, no. Go ahead. Um, Zan, you take half damage. Everyone else, twenty-seven. What's half damage of that? Thirteen. I take half damage because I'm raging, correct? Uh, yes, because you're enraged. And so, I have fire resistance, so. I don't care. You have fire I'm... resistance. Yeah, I'm a. So gold you take thirteen point. too. Okay. Basically I, everyone at 13. I'm like gasping for air because I'm at 3 health. Okay. Uh, okay. Man, I wish I could clear drawings without getting rid of that giant purple square, but that's just not a feature for me. There's no... Mm. Can you not take like an eraser and press specific shapes? I mean, there's an icon. Um, let me see. No. There's no eraser. Well, damn. I, I, I do have a question. That... Yes. How did he still have the aura thingy up if they casted a fireball? I'm just asking to ask. And if it's he's a legendary type kind of crazy creature and that's your thing, that's fine. But I'm, I'm just curious if that was maybe. Well, no, it's it's not like uh, concentration. OK, if that's what you're asking. Yeah. But you can still cast spells while you're using concentration effects, yeah. but it's not a concentration effect. You just can't oh, cast okay. another concentration spell. This is our first like bigger combat, so. Yeah. Um, Zan, your turn. You're now just outside the range of the crazy shit, but 
but you are pretty heavily wounded. I'm going to move two squares behind Cirrus. Uh... Moving through him. Um, so I should mention before you go anywhere, the... moving away from an enemy provokes an attack of opportunity. All of those are turned, though, correct? What's well, that? They're not All turned of them. from her. Well, hold on. Oh, oh. If concentration spells are uh, continued until... Well, no, hold on. We'll already be broken at that point. Did his fireball not damage the undead? Thank you. Yeah, I meant to blip them off the map. You're good to go there, sir. Okay, so I'm going to move the fuck out of the way. <laughs> And then I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself. Okay. Give me a roll for that, just to see how much you're healed. In. For like five? <laughs> and I'm five? Just, I'm just going to sit down there on the ground, just going, give me a second. Okay. Zan's taking a breather in the dirt. All right, let's uh, let's take a note there. She said she is sitting, she went down and sit, so it will take a move, some movement to stand back up. Let's give you a heads up. Or an enemy is going to be able to just come over and you know. At this All point, right. it's fine. Dave, it's your turn. Oh, it's my turn. You saw a giant fireball cascade across the landscape behind you. You felt its heat ruffling the hairs on the back of your neck. Okay, okay. So I do notice there's still some zombies in front of me. Yeah, and surrounding your buddy over there. Who, yeah, well, all that. of those are on fire. You know, Jace does that thing where he's a fire. I got you. Well, it then, won't hurt you. Let me see. Okay, so I'm going to go, go ahead and go enraged. Just to go ahead and get some extra damage in um, I'm gonna go three ahead rounds kill. without and three rounds without enraging. I don't know how you play your barbarian, but like an idiot. So, <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh spin in a circle and try and chop these guys up. <laughs> you want to clean? Yeah, I do. And oh, if I do God. succeed, I'm gonna try and actually go for this guy as well as my second. Give me a second. Is cleaving okay. even a thing in 5e? I mean, I know it is in 3.5, but I mean... No. Tyr, you're a DM. How, what, what are the terms on this? I think there's like a feat you can take, but... Um, they're... I'm trying to remember what the closest thing to cleave is. I think they're... it's a pretty weapon master. It's a feat that he has to take. Mm, I don't. That's a good thing. Uh, feats. Uh, let me look it up it, here. It's called cleaver. Uh, well, I, I think mean, that's a. I think that might be a homebrew feat. That is a home. A, yeah, that is as a homebrew. Um, yeah, there's no such thing as a, a cleave. There's like spellcaster and. Um, other stuff, but um, yeah, uh, it's up to you're your just discretion. Gonna have to, you're just yeah, going to have to no... take your attack and then your extra attack, Chris. The, yep, that's it. The, yeah, that's what it was. It was a uh, great weapon master took the place of it because if you kill something or you crit, you get an extra attack as a bonus. Okay, well then I will change up my attack here. I will go ahead and uh, I'll chop this guy through his head and try to chop him in half. And then if I can, I'm going to try and stab through these two. Because so I really want to get rid of these as quickly as possible. You have to roll a critical hit. So or right. reduce That's what he's saying is he's hoping that he yeah. gets a crit. If you have the Great Weapon Master feat. No, he doesn't. So you're okay. only going to be able to get two, brother. You no, do. All, right. all right, then I'll just go for these two. Okay. Cut. Okay, Chris, uh, if you go to the hand icon, or like the little mouse cursor icon, and then Top you do left. a long press, you'll get one of these bubbles. 
Oh, there cool. you go. So, um, oh, that, that, that. yeah, do that instead of drawing, so I don't have to keep drawing this stupid square over and over. <laughs> you, done oh, yeah, you. you done mess up giving us that power. Minus fifty DKP. Okay, so uh, roll for an attack, there, Dave. To see if I hit. Yep. I got a four, so I'm going to use a lucky to reroll that. Good call. I got 11, but I still feel I can do better. 11 plus your strength plus proficiency comes to a lot more than 11. Is that like 19? 19. I guess that'll yeah. work. I guess that'll work. Yeah, that's a hit. Roll for damage. Well, my dice fell on the floor, so I gotta find it. Uh, Oof, not good. <laughs> I got a four, plus my strength is eight. You were rolling the uh, d12 plus a d6? Yeah. So, four on the d12, what do you get on the d6? No, I got a three and a one. I got a four altogether. Oof, that's rough. Plus your strength is eight. Make a heavy swing in one of the undead. Your blade gets stuck stuck in its collarbone. You try to pry it free. You have a second swing. Do you want to hit the same one or go for the one beside it? I'll go for the other one. All right. Roll to hit. Thirteen. With your bonuses plus eight, it's like twenty-one. <clears throat> That's a hit. Uh, damage. Seventeen after everything's added. That one you managed to tear in half. Its corpse falls to the sand and washed away to nothingness. Good. Now it is the undead's turn. All the undead were on fire, burn to death, and collapse to the ground around the flaming druid. Let's see. I know whenever he's in this flame form, he can like shoot some kind of a fireball. One sec, I gotta pull it up again. Yeah. 15 foot line of fire. Healing. Okay, he did. A large wave of fire spreads out um, surrounding the undead. He scampers and tries to put himself out to no avail and collapses to the ground dead. This is on fire now. Um, actually, much of this landscape is on fire now. But whatever, I'll just note that. <clears throat> Moving on, Michelle, it's your turn. You're still standing there in front of Malleus, wielding the blade. Your body's covered in ash and slightly charred, but you've seen his fireball before. It's your turn. Wisdom save. Yep. And that is bad. How bad? <laughs> that was a three. Okay. Let's see what effect you get. Oh my gosh. 16 force damage, which of course is halved. And you are pushed back 30 feet. Wow, 30 feet. Lucky. Which makes no difference to you because you're a barbarian with crazy feet and you can just run straight back up to him. Uh, actually, my feet don't affect my speed, but... Oh. Well, uh, what was it that moved your speed to 40? 
45, uh, the Barbarian. It's just, it, it increases. Yeah. That's right. They become the Juggernaut. I, I just, I, I just see him get pushed back to my area, and I'm like, what's up? Yeah, just well, that this was... chaotic, this wind of chaos, a rift opens and shoots you backwards. Um, which again, you know, half damage, but. Yep, I'm uh, I'm annotating that, trying to if I can. I am going to roar, make five feet of movement and jump, trying to land in front of him and cleaving down with my sword. Wait, you you're moving see. five feet and jumping twenty five. Um, <laughs> just well, we're just to be clear, I I can make a standing long jump with that. Yeah, but um, twenty. So whatever, feet. whatever I need to be to you know come down cleaving on it. Okay, I'll allow it. And Move, if you I succeed, mean, you if you succeed, I'll I'll throw in another dot six damage because I'm feeling froggy. Uh, okay, I was doing this recklessly. If that wasn't clear with the, that should be like an automatic thing with uh with all barbarians. What reckless? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. It should be like, I'm going to attack with Reckless? Uh, of course. Uh, 17 plus 8. 17 plus 8 to hit is a hit. Uh, am I adding a d6 to that? I'll let you have it. Okay. Shit. Just barely not enough. Uh, that is 20 damage. Christ! To be fair, the extra dice was only a 2. Uh, and then I am going to sweep up with the sword for strike number. And that is nowhere near as pretty. Um, six plus eight, whatever that turn. Fourteen. Fourteen to hit. Yep. It's not a hit. Uh, then I will say, can't touch this again. And I will go into dodge as a bonus. So... You run and leap with all your force, bring this giant weapon down on his head, cleaving him from shoulder through his chest. He is in half from the torso up, but he's not dead. You can see he's still moving. You can see just black bile and ash pouring from within What him is Marna doing throughout this As he staggers thing? towards you, just... Chilling with his pal. <laughs> He's kind of stunned. He's just standing there, torn in half, looking at himself. Uh, Rosaline takes her turn to run back towards Zan and cast a healing spell on her. I swat her hand away. No. Okay. She's, She's not really in a position of healthy heat ability to fight um, him. She's trying to heal you. Let me see here. But I'm not going to see it like that. Okay. She doesn't heal you. Tear, it's your turn. All Stay right. The so distance. the lich is right. cleaved in twain. I need you to give me a wisdom saving throw. Yes, sir. Let's see. That is a. Fourteen. Fourteen does not succeed. Okay. Let's see. Four. Fuck. Okay. You suffer eighteen psychic damage. And have disadvantage on your next attack roll. 
Okay. Um, I will go up one, two, three, four, five. This aura is fucking gnarly. It's his legendary action. Uh, the clicking thing is not working. Uh, I'd like to go up 30 feet up right next to um, Michelle. I like to pop my bonus action of Hexblade's Curse onto him. Okay. Uh, if you guys don't know what Hexblade Curse does, I I pretty much cast a hex on him. Um, as you see, like the sil uh, the silver, like draconic fire surround from my sword, and it surrounds um, the enemy. And now I have. A couple of benefits on him. And then I will... Do, 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 as my action, I will... Mm, let's see here. Actually, as my action, I will do a... Uh, let's see. I'll do an Eldritch Blast on him. Eldritch Blast. Okay, give me a roll. <clears throat> Okay, at disadvantage. Uh, oh, I need L2. Oh my that's god, one. I almost exploded. Oh, that was uncomfortable. Exploded. Hey. Okay? So, yeah, I'm fine. The first one um, would be a uh, 15 to hit. 15 is not a hit. That's beam number one. Beam number two uh, will also be a miss. All right. All right. And that will end my turn. Cirrus, over to you, buddy. Okay. So I'm going to step into the aura. And that is a 14 plus 2, 16. 16? Yeah. You made it. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I can move to right there. And then I'm going to cast Magic Missile at Malleus. It is 3, 4, 5, your mic was doing a weird thing, so I'm not sure what you said there, buddy. He said magic missile. No, yeah. I heard magic missile. <laughs> no, I was just confirming that it was 3d4 for the first level. So, 4, 3, 1. So, 7. 7 force damage. Your magic missiles strike true, and Malice's form begins to dissolve to ash. If you you did literally just enough damage. You're shitting me. I came over there to smash his fucking head. <laughs> no, no, you did literally just enough. You hit the hit point amount on the exact number. Um, that was anticlimactic. A little bit. I know, Lily. Really. Little the missiles, was... yeah, the missiles pierce into his head. Again, <laughs> he's already split in two, dripping all over the desert. As they do, he reels backwards and collapses in the sand on his back. His body begins to dissipate into ash and be blown away. Is Durion still there? No, it's not. Actually, let me check, because there is a chance that it's not. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Darion begins to glow a violet color and shatters, leaving behind 
only shards of the forbidden glass blade and a black gem that was once in its pommel. Huh. Okay. So, I'm going to empty out one of my bags and scoop up that gem inside of it. Tie it off. You're getting a little crunchy there, buddy. Um, Let me... He wants to collect it and put it in a bag. Yeah, I'm going yeah, to... Yeah, I caught that. Put it in a bag without touching it. Just kind of scoop it up and sand and whatever else. Okay. I know what happened last time I touched this thing. You are not wrong to be cautious. <clears throat> However, Malleus is gone. I, uh, uh, you know, he, he had a plan of escape, but, uh, well, it didn't happen. <sighs> that... He's not going to be happy to hear that. <laughs> Well, I mean, was Durion his phylactery, or was it the gem? Hard to say. Over in the distance, you hear <clears throat> a yelping. Everyone turns their back to see Xantha has grappled Rosalon and has her pinned to the desert floor. <laughs> Are they in a mud pit? No. I'm screaming, where the hell is Kalanon? You were the last one who would have Kalanon. Where the did you put him? Put her? Tell me now. But, like, I'm going off on her about Kalanon. He is kicking and screaming. Let's see here. She tries to break free to no avail. Um, she tells you, I had it with me when I last saw Malleus. I don't know where it's at. And I'm telling, I'm going to, I like, I don't believe her, and I'm going to try to punch her face. Okay. By the way, turn order is over now, guys. You can uh, take your actions however you'd like to. So if you're trying to do something, just tell me. Yeah, I think we need to separate the ladies. Nat 20. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> For a whopping two damage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um... That would be, a, yeah, that would only be a one, right? Times two would Double. be two. And plus your, your bonus, which I don't think you have much strength. I only have two strength. Still, a solid punch right in the face. You can see she's bleeding a little bit. Um, she kind of just spits on you. Spits blood up at you. And says, uh, I don't know where it's at. It's gone. Okay. I'm gonna Breaks run. Breaks free of your grip. You're running over? Yeah, I'm gonna run over and grab Xan and a bear hug. How do you feel about this, Michelle? Your, your buddies are beating the shit out of each other. I'm actually watching the other two. Uh, and the one is still some crazy ass fire element. Yeah, he is covered in flame. Yeah, I'm probably... Oh, God. This is... About to see how stupid I am. Please. I am stupid enough. Ugh. I am going to rush forward as soon as I see that Malleus is dead, and I am going to run at the fire elemental, because Malleus must have something. Because fire and fireball. Okay. Should I have initiative again? I would. <laughs> Your choice, but I'm attacking. All right, I'm just gonna pull it up and uh, where it was. There we go. And I'm gonna move it down to you. First attack is reckless. All right. Chris, he's trying to kill your buddy. I see that. Wow. This is not going to end very well. Okay. Uh, um, four plus so, eight. 
for hit. Yep. That does not hit. Um, and since you're within 10 feet of him, you take seven fire damage. Have. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess you didn't really have a any time in between when you were fighting the one to now, so I guess you're still enraged. But that means so is Chris over there. <clears throat> it, it would have been me turning to recognize the rest of the field at that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so you do miss and take a little bit of fire damage because he's friggin' hot. Uh, again, it's a giant fireball you're trying to attack. Yep, that that's hot. I got it. Rosalind can't do anything for her turn. I, I'm going to make a second to attack. <laughs> okay, give me a roll. Six plus eight. Fourteen. Fourteen is a miss. Then I'm going to say can't touch this for my last time. And, and go into dodge as a bonus action. Okay, so attacks have disadvantage. Tyr, what are you doing? You just saw him sprint off and start attacking what you know is someone who is also fighting for their life. Uh, let's see here. And I see that is a big fire elemental, correct? Well, it's a human wreathed in flame. Hmm. Decision decisions. Um. Yeah. Oh, and I... Rosalind just took her turn to get up and get away from it. Oh, my bad. I should have been closer. I would have, yeah. I would have grabbed okay. sand. So, it's here. Uh, let's see. 5, 10, 15. 20, 20, 30. Um, let's see. I would like to be. I guess you don't have your aura here. I like to be around here. Okay. Uh, and then I will cast um, Eldrick Blast. And I'm be like, don't worry, buddy. We'll uh. We'll put that flame out. We just got to... I know a thing. We just have to make you unconscious. <laughs> you can't be on fire if you're unconscious. <laughs> exactly. That's how magic works. That's how spell ends. Uh, so I'm going to shoot two because two I'm beams. so confused, are you attacking me or the fire elemental? <laughs> uh, fire elemental. Because I, I did, I know where you are, and then I didn't see this like fire elemental just like come like shoot fires at you, shoot a flaming load on you. So yeah, we'll do this. All right, so let's see. Does a twenty six hit for the first attack or the first beam? It does. Okay, uh, and the second beam does a 15 hit. It does not. Does not. Okay, well, he is going to take a whopping five points of damage. I don't know. Let me double check my feats here. I, I know Warlocks have my, I think I have one of my feats have it. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Mm, yeah, just five points of damage. Okay, the blast hits him. As it does, you're going to say, ah, fuck! Screams out. Um, he kind of just turns towards the two of you and is like, what are you doing? I Serious. tilt my head like a dog. Uh, are you still breaking them apart over there? Yeah, I saw Zan. Are you grappling her? Yeah. Give me a roll to grapple her. Uh, 17 plus 8, so 25. I had an 8, but my AC is also 15, so... Oh, my roll yeah. 20 is reloading. Are we doing a battle royale? Because this would be awesome right now. No. <laughs> well, you are definitely grappled. Uh, anything you want to say there, Sirius? <laughs> we will talk about this. After we keep them from killing each other. And I'm like, no, um, she was on something, I swear to. 
I start like the cons conspiracy theorist part now. Okay, so Zan, I'm sure you're what? She's right about a hundred pounds, give or take. I don't know, Zan. Zan, what's your character's weight? You're not supposed to ask that. Rude. One hundred and thirty. I'm going to toss her over my shoulder. <laughs> okay. Uh, she can <laughs> contest on her turn. Um, I'm too tired. I, I just like, I kind of do this. 20, I give up, 30. but I'm like watching. I'm, I'm watching Rose. All right. Okay. Right there is 30. I don't know how you want to roll on that with me holding her. Uh, Half movement, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I'm going um, to uh, I'm going to yell at them to break up the fight because I heard the elemental talk, right? Yeah, he cursed at you in common or at them. Okay. Uh, actually, yeah. on his turn, you see the flames go out. You see a man standing before you, who suddenly and instantly transforms into a serpent, slithers away, and coils around the barbarian's neck. What the fuck? All right. Is there anything you want to say there, Dave? You're surrounded by a bunch of strangers after fighting off some undead. Well, seeing what just happened with these guys trying to attack my buddy... I'm gonna run towards this man and I'm gonna hammer fist his Oh no. Oh that was a mistake. Hammer this fisting is... is what? Your head. Oh. Which one? Oh my god. The one around his waist. <laughs> He's asking if you're trying to hit him in the head or in the dick, Chris. Uh, in in his head, his fanging head. Well, that's his dick. <laughs> it probably thinks better than I do. <laughs> well, I'm wanting to beat up his noggin. How about that? Okay, that'll work. Uh, <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> give me an attack roll, Dave. Slog on his nog. <laughs> <laughs> well, I rolled a 17. Plus 17 eight. hits. Yep. Yep, that's going to be a hit, but you're just... You said you were um, hitting him with it, your fist? He, for clarification, because there's a player that's confused about this, I used Reckless Attack. So attacks against me have advantage. I went into dodge as a bonus action using my fancy pants, which neutralizes the advantages and disadvantages on Makes it a straight roll. He rolled a 17. Did you, um... Yeah, 17 with that plus pants? 8, because... What's the fancy pants you have to activate during your your turn? It is a bonus action, and I did use it using my keyword yeah. "can't." Uh, so here's a question: Are you using your fist and just like smacking them on the head, or are you trying to like hit them with the pommel of your weapon? I'm gonna use my fist. I'm not looking to kill this man. Okay. Um, Non-lethal karate chop. Even better. Non-lethal blow. Um, so that's. One plus strength, so five, and you're enraged, so two, right? It's three. Well, huh. he's in. Oh, yeah, you get bonus damage for being enraged, too. So, if he's a higher level than me, then it's probably it, it might have gone up because my rage damage is only, two. yeah, he is. Uh, okay, so. Three plus four plus one, eight damage, and then you take half damage because you're in rage too. So you take four damage as this large tanned man wearing very little walks over and just clobbers you on top of the head for attacking his snake friend. Oh, it's a fisticuffs kind of fight. Well, let's just hope oh, you happen. better hit me harder than that, bitch. And uh, I drop my sword and I take a swing. Barbarian fought. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, can I can I lethal. make my fist a frenzy, uh, a reckless? 
I mean, it's a melee attack, right? Yeah, I guess you can. I don't think it specifies. <laughs> I don't think it specifies weapon attack. Melee weapon attack rolls. Yes, it does. Okay. Weapon. So he... Okay. So. Although it does call the tavern brawler, brawler an improvised weapon, but it unarmed strike is its own thing. Yeah. I see that. So no, I can't make it reckless. But I am going to take a swing. Now, if you were you using a bar stool, you that can... would be a weapon or a table. There's no tables in the desert. There's a cactus behind you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll use that later. I'll grab that cactus. <laughs> hey, uh, that would only be a 15 since I'm not using my... Uh... Okay. 15 is not going to hit him. And I'm going to take another swing. Oh, yeah, Chris, you got multiple attacks. I guess you were trying yeah, to give just, a warning punch. Yeah, I just wanted to hit him <laughs> once, but now he's trying to attack me with a weapon. No, he's uh, fist. I'm, I'm fisting. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay, well, good. Better be careful. We're just going to. 15 plus 5, so 20 plus. Yeah, that's. No, plus my proficiency. Yeah, so. I'm not sure how I feel about two half-naked men fisting each other in the middle of the desert. We've had weirder stuff happen. With Michelle, there's three is going to be a hit. You should have inspired yourself. Uh, I can't. That's wrong kind of bard. Uh, That's a three plus five plus two. So ten. A wrong type of bard. Chris, you take five yeah. damage as he slugs you in the face. He swings once and you bring your arm up to block it, and then he turns around and quickly hits you in the side of the head. Okay, I see how it's gonna go down. All right, um, it's just Kintir's... you two. I don't know why I have a mission. Can Tear step in here? Yeah, if you'd like. Okay, I like to. Oh yeah, um, I like to cast uh, Bane. On all three of them. Spell text, please. <laughs> okay, so up to three creatures of my choice that I can see. So it'll be the snake around the neck of these two barbarians. Um, <clears throat> uh, that must make a charisma, charisma saving throw. Uh, whenever a target that fails this saving throw makes an attack roll or saving throw before the end or spell ends, the target must roll a d4 and subtract the number rolled from the attack roll or saving throw. Okay, like the opposite of a, a bless or something like that. Yeah, it's like the opposite of an inspiration. But yeah, yeah. Um, so I need all three of you to make a charisma saving throw. Jace failed, for sure. Uh, what's his no- roll? Oh, yeah. Four. All right, yeah. <laughs> That's a nat 20. All, all right, 12. Uh, so the new guys, uh, they failed. Okay. Uh, um, and as I'm going to start meditating on um, Ferris's shoulder. And as a bonus action, I will. Um, yeah, that's about it. And I'm just like, hey, um. My money is on the uh, singing barbarian. It's like I just hacked. I just hacked the entire competition and stuff. So yeah, singing barbarian. All right, um, Dave, you're round. What are you gonna do? Uh, hold on. No, I still gotta go, right? I kind of lost all form of. Well, I went after uh, Tyr. Yeah, your turn. Uh, it'd be Cirrus, Jace, Xanther, Dave, Xanther. Sorry, Xan. I'm just going to drop ground Xan to the ground, and uh, pile drive. <laughs> <laughs> pile driver. No, I just You're, you have you are the perfect opportunity right now to. 
Just go I am over. also meditating too. Well, kind of, sort of. It looks like I'm sleeping. She's she's only got like eight health. You could kill her if you wanted. I mean, oh. I mean you're oh. in the presence of two barbarians fist fist cuffing each other right now. I'm going I'll to drive move over here, here and uh, use the halberd to separate them. I'm Are not you going to, to split them up. Yeah. All right. Y'all are fisting each other whenever a blade intervenes. What the fuck, man? He hit me first. You hit his friend first. That's not a friend. That's a fucking crazy fucking animal thing. I don't know what the fuck that is, but that's not a friend. It was self-defense. So, so you punched me. I was that self-defense. I was self-defending my friend. We just established that it's not a friend. That's a crazy animal fucking... I have Unless you talk to animals now. He's like my best friend. I don't the snake care. The speaks and says, Yeah, I'm just a guy. Uh, what the fuck? Me. I jump back. See, oh, animals are people too. <laughs> Your fucking animal speaks common? He speaks all kinds of languages. What the fuck kind of animal is that? And you said, what? What? He begins to speak in a language that sounds familiar. Zan, you understand it. Says, hello. What brings you here? I, uh, I kind of go, huh? Um, his sword. I speak the same language. I, I speak in, back in Dark Elven. Sword? Yeah, the, um, the one your friend has. Chris, you understand what she's saying. I grasp my sword tightly. No, you don't have to give it to us. Uh, we have... I have information for you, but um, I don't know if I can trust you. The fuck are you people talking about? If there's information regarding the sword, I have to know. I, Back to common, all of you. I, I give him like a really solid glare. So there's a mountain hellfire. You know what the crucible of uh, glass is? I know exactly where that is. Well, we need all of all of the weapons, and we that's how we're gonna beat the worm. Oof! I don't know if I can risk risk my sword for that. Didn't I have a short sword too that had awesome abilities? Yeah, you did. I I, I like get my bow and I like knock it to him. I'm like, what do you know about Kelanon? I get into a defense mode. Like I'm ready to attack. What are you saying, buddy? She's talking to you. And they are still not speaking common, right? No, they're speaking dark elven. No one's all ever said that they're are... switching. Yeah, I keep my mouth are. shut because I don't know these people. I I unlock the bow, point at point at uh, uh uh Rosaline, and I'm like, she fucking lost it. Oh, you're pointing your bow at her. No, I'm pointing a finger at her. Oh, okay, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> it's one thing to wrestle in the sand; it's another thing to point a bow. At... Okay. I, I I get up and put my bow away at this point. I'm I'm still pretty mad, but I'm not looking at her. She speaks up, says, there are many tools like the one you have, Barbarian. There's nine in total. That dark wizard who tracked you down, he had one of them. I had another, and I passed it on to this woman you've been speaking to. <sighs> and now we have none. But you have one. Mine ain't up for grabs, but I went through a lot to get this weapon. We don't know why or how it's going to work, but we need all of them when the worm wakes. How long do we have? 
a little less than a year. I might not be alive in a year. <laughs> I need to use this sword to the fullest. Not the way you're living. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have to find an anvil. I'm going to make my own weapons. There's a whole bunch of anvils over in Heathcliff. Yeah, you know what? I actually found an anvil with this sword that I was going to take with me, but then I lost it. It's a little too large for you to take. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was a little bit. Jace says, don't you think you're telling them a little bit too much? Perhaps, go, but they hold, know more about the swords than me. Hold on. And I, and I bring out my, um, my, my book, my copy of the book, out of my bag of holding. I'm like, okay, have you not read the, this? She has the same book as you. I gave my book to Jace because I had the one in the... Yeah, but you're not supposed to divulge that information. Uh, Oops. <laughs> still, it's the same book. It's a copy of that book. You remember the circumstances in which you found it, so... My guy can't read the best, so I actually have Jay studying the book, and I pretty much just do what my totem warriors do. True. Okay. Jace looks over he towards the party. Looks like the portrait, by the way, because he is so confused and still has his hands up and uh, nobody's speaking. Um, no, they. I mean, Jace was speaking common the moment Rosaline started speaking to them. Uh, oh, so I heard Rosaline too then. Yeah. She doesn't know Dark Elf. Oh. Jace uh, says, in common... Uh, listen, we have a bit of a journey, and it's important we get to where we're going, so, you know, pretty cool that you have another one of those books, but we don't, we're not exactly here to give you our weapons. Well, Lolly, it said I have to have that great sword to, uh, go and stop the worms. No one's catching the sword. Okay, look. We don't have to take the sword. We just need you to go to Heathcliff. I've already been to Heathcliff. No, no, no. This sword. character hasn't been to Heathcliff. You're thinking of... Ace. Mm, okay, I got you. In uh, that case, I may consider. How about you just meet us... At this point, I'm speaking common too. How about you just speak, meet us over in Heathcliff? You'll find our guild. They'll take care of you. You don't have. You can keep the sword. Okay. Tell you what. After I get done with my business here, I'll go to Heathcliff and I'll try to meet you there. What business do you have here? Um. I don't know if you. Oh, <laughs> uh, at this point, you see from the cart, a armored man steps out and begins walking towards the party. I draw my sword, my great sword, not the single sword. I draw my sword then, too. I look at him like super frustrated because I'm tired. <laughs> uh, Chris. Brewer walks over towards you. Peyton is with him. So it's a man completely clad in armor from head to toe. He appears to have a pretty narrow stature, but he walks as if he's been in the army. He's marching towards you. Uh, his right hand is holding hands with a short, pale little girl, long blonde hair. He I'm going to dis step right here. He kind of just glances at everyone standing in the middle of the desert. 
Dave, what's going on? We're here. God, it took you long enough, Brewer. Did you not hear all the commotion going on a second ago? I heard, but I have to protect Peyton. You know that's why I agreed to come this way. What a great job you did killing all these monsters. <clears throat> Sorry, actually. Let me get his voice. It's been a long time. <laughs> yes, well, uh, you know, I have a task to accomplish. I am here for one reason only. I seek to bring order to Ryuf. It's always about your code. You can never just stick up and fight. I've fought plenty of times. Nearly killed the both of you. Let's, let's not talk about that. It's not important. Ooh. Sounds like a challenge. He's got like a big bodyguard. He steps forward and sizes up Cirrus. Cirrus, as you look down at him, he's you're a pretty imposing guy, right? I mean, based on your image, I assume you are. Yeah. As you look down on him, you can see through the slats in his armor. He is not a man. Can I see to tell not... what he is? Give me a investigation check. Okay. Uh, I rolled a 14 plus... Give me a second. So, 18? He is a skeleton. What are you? I am a man with one goal. Only a hundred feet away from it. If you'll excuse us. Have I, uh... Can I make, like, a arcana or history check or something to see if I know anything about something that's not quite a mindless undead, but... Arcana. Okay. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, that one's even better. 17 plus 6, so 23. There are tales of uh, certain people, more like legends. Is he a wraith? When slain in combat, their spirit decides that they've not accomplished what is necessary. And that drive alone, in some way, forces them to come back until the task is completed. <clears throat> I think I would use the term man loosely. What's that? I said I think I would use the term man loosely. I am what you say I am. I don't care. I'm very close to Ryuf now. All things will be clear once we enter the city. Oh. We're heading that way as well. I see no horses, no camels. We... It's a long story. Shit got complicated. Well, sad to say that some large scorpion took our cabbie. There is a little more room now. We would be appreciative of any. It's not up to me, Dave. I guess we can all pile in. This. In in the middle of all of this, I'm going to cast Healing Word on. Are you allowing him to heal you? <laughs> she. It's verbal. It's. She doesn't get to. So everyone pile in, I guess? Oh, I didn't get to show off one of my graphics. Look at the minions. Oh, Jesus. A waste. 
That kind of sucks whenever you fireball all your own. <laughs> What's your spellcasting ability modifier? You're kind of doing that weird thing again, Cirrus. Um, it. What what's your spellcasting ability modifier? For me, that's charisma. As a bard, yes. Okay, so is it just that, not the uh, proficiency? So your spell save is mm. eight plus proficiency plus charisma. Your spell, yeah. If you're just rolling to add on to it, it would just be your charisma. Six. Six points of healing to you. Okay. I guess everyone's piling in. And uh, I think we're going to go ahead and take a quick fiver, guys. So, okay. quick five minute break.
Give me, give me a count. Welcome back to Roll Initiative. Shitty countdown. I can't fuck them up if you're doing that. God Thank damn it. You. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Michelle loves to say vulgar things right before we begin streaming to get me all giddy and choked up. Uh, you've been you've been watching a, a little too much Critical Role, I think. <laughs> I know that's pretty common practice. Okay, I just so, like to fuck with you in all aspects. Well, I know Michelle swings that way, but you can't fuck a DM, so. He no, you try. totally can't. He, he already does, because I already did my, my own game, remember? You just gotta find the right temple. <laughs> okay, so. Where was I? Christ. Okay, everyone piled in the back of the cart. Um, in the front, Brewer is guiding the horses with the little girl sitting on his lap. Um, everyone is crammed in the back. Dave has Jay still coiled around his neck as a serpent. Um, to kind of make more room for everyone to fit in there while Michelle walks along behind, refusing to get into the cart. Is somebody between me and Ro uh, Rosaline? I assume Cirrus is. Yeah. Based on what happened. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alright. I'm gonna meditate so, for however long it takes. You're not far now. As Brewer said, you're just barely keeping him from getting there. It won't take any time. Uh, is there anything you guys want to talk about while in the cart? Oh, um... <laughs> From your pout, Marna speaks up, Michelle. So, uh... What the hell was that? Yeah, exactly. What the hell was that? that Wait, what? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Dave, out the back of the cart, you can see this large barbarian you were fighting with talking to his dick. Yeah, that's how it would look. Yeah. To his dick? Yep. And is responding. He's just looking down at his pants and talking while walking along with the cart. I kind of want to just, like, peek over and see if he's actually talking to I mean, you can see that... <laughs> you can All you can see is, like, he is talking, looking down at his crotch. And you I, hear a voice coming back. I pull out my penis and I look at it and see if it tries to talk to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you just whip it out in the cart? Yes. I'm going to <laughs> kick him. I'm going to freaking kick him. Literally. Let me roll for that. Let me roll for that. <laughs> okay. Roll. You pull your loincloth aside and stare down at your crotch. That's strength, right? Yeah. Then it's a 21. The elf oh. sitting across from you kicks you in the side of the head, yelling at you to put that thing away. There's a child he's there! He's not talking to himself, he's talking to a talking skull! Well, I can't see that. No sh crap! What the hell are they doing up there in the cart? They're all freaking the fuck out. <laughs> uh, I don't know, they're all strange to me. It's fucking weird. There's so that thing in there. What, the druid? Yeah, is that a druid? Yes, it must be. To fuck those things. What's wrong with druids? They fucking curse you. Well, have you know Haven't one of you my heard best this story? was a druid? Yeah, what, and now you're a talking skull? I can't argue with that, but it wasn't his fault. Are you sure? You said you don't remember. Druids turn you into things, and that's kind of a thing you turned into. Listen, just because you're stupid doesn't mean it's going to rub off on me. You want what rubbed off on you? 
Can you just throw me in the cart? No, you're in timeout now. Uh, <laughs> Cirrus, uh, after witnessing this barbarian expose himself, you see the snake around his neck begins to slither along the floor and curl up beside you. You can feel it, like, crawling up your back. I am going to grab it. Pull it off of me and put it back in the floor. It kind of just looks up and moves its head back and forth and says, what? I do not keep the company of men. I'm just interested in that weapon you're carrying around. Very colorful. By yeah. the way, uh, he has a halberd that, uh, what's the word for it? Like a acid wash, whenever it's all like rainbow color, one of those Oh, damn. I'm going to sit my, my butt back down, and I'm just kind of going to lean against Cirrus. You don't like to be touched. <laughs> what? You cut out there at the end. I said you don't like to be touched. Yeah. So how do you know Dark Elven? Long story short, uh, I won't tell you. Well, that's rude. You're rude for asking. I mean, how? I guess, I guess you could tell that you touched something you weren't supposed to. He turns his head towards Dave and then back. That's pretty much how we learned, too. Yeah, pretty much. Does nobody teach the language anymore? I told you, there are very select few. Like, 80% of the population was wiped off the planet, so... I know, I was just being... Yeah. <laughs> a smart ass. I mean, I could teach you it. In private. The cart slows down. Brewer says... We're here. We're youth. City of killers and murderers. If you're not used to the customs, keep to yourself. What's with the child? She's the reason I've come this way. It's important that she make it here. You're going to take a child to a city of killers? Yes, I am. And when we're Seems done... Like a bad idea. When we're done, it'll be a better place. Don't worry about that. I have a lot of work to do. Let's get on it. You approach the gates. <clears throat> you can see that uh, it's heavily guarded. There are many guards around the perimeter of this large walled city. Uh, the wall itself <laughs> appears to be some kind of sandy stone. Um, and you can see many large spires out in the distance. There are carts going in and out. However, at the entrance, there is a huge, huge pile of goods. Every single cart that pulls ahead drops something off before entering the town. <clears throat> Yours is no exception. As you make it up to the front, they stop the cart. A man walks over and kind of looks at the girl and peeks in the back of the cart and says, Tribute? What is your tribute? Multipass. I bring up my passport. <laughs> I like that reference. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, that went over my head, to be honest. Oh, goddamn it. Go to your room. <laughs> so disappointed. Fifth element. Multipass? Uh, I read the book like 50 times. I forgot times. it was called a multipass. You know how long it's been <clears throat> watch that movie. 
it's on Netflix or Hulu, one of the two. I watched it not too long ago. <laughs> um, okay. Um, says a bunch of foreigners. Vagrants, we still demand tribute if you wish to enter a youth. What about entertainment? How much money no. do you have? You never put Good on my No, I didn't. Um, I'm going to message you specifically. How about this? And I and I reach in my my bag of holding and bring out a handful of gems. Uh, handful of gems. Yeah. About hey, 50, 50 gold worth of gems. To, do you want to message this to him? Just because I didn't put it on his his character sheet. Oh yeah, I forgot. You and Jace were gambling. You took like everything from him. Yeah, I got a lot. Yeah, that was like half of your trip was you guys gambling. I mean, that's one way to, sp <laughs> to spend yeah. the time. <laughs> you took like all of his money. I think the only thing he has left is a gold tooth from the cab driver. <clears throat> okay. So I messaged you on Discord. He looks the gems over and says, There are many of you. Surely you must have more to offer than this. In Does it look like I'm carrying anything? You're carrying a rather large halberd. I give him one platinum. <laughs> There's only one way you'll get this halberd. Very good. Uh, platinum coin. Sure. Go ahead. And he kind of just poof, ducks his head out. No, you get <laughs> platinum coin or you get the gems. You choose. We will have both. Thank you. One of the... Uh... We will have both. One. You can see guards coming up uh, from behind him. Let it be, for now. I just shove the gems in his face like, whoop. Yeah, I flip the coin on the ground. In Ryuf, your class is dictated by how much you give. Group of you, all together, likely peasants. I would be careful. He just waves you in. Brewer takes no time to hesitate and it's the rain, causing the horses to stir as you gallop into the city. But he doesn't. I, I apparently chase after them. <laughs> yes. Uh, let me see here. I, I think I've got something like this. Close. Definitely silent when I stop that music. <laughs> what? What? Figuring out what a horse's movement is versus me shouting. No, because with this many people in there, you're just as fast with your forty-five. Freaking movement. Here we go. Random bizarre sounds. Okay. So, the uh, the group of you make your way <laughs> into the city of Ryuf. You can see nice. the town is very crowded. Um, there are people moving all about. There's uh, electricity in the air. Seems like everyone has some place to be and fast. You all know that a tribute is coming up, and everyone is taking their goods towards the largest spire in the center of the capital. You can just tell everybody's flowing in that direction. I think um, we follow the crowd. Brewer says, we'll need a place to stay. What time of day is it? Midday, but the tribute's coming up. You don't want to be caught out in the city streets with nowhere to go. It's best if we get a room now. Well, I agree. The group of you, anyway. I won't follow Brewer. Yeah, we've got a little choice. We'll follow as well. Oh, you're still in the cart. 
Uh, but right at the entrance, there's a, a stable. Brings the cart to a halt, hops out, hands the reins over. And then as he walks by, he says, Dave, pay the man. I'd give him the currency. Give him the currency. Okay. <laughs> um, How much was pour it? all your money in his... <clears throat> Five gold pieces to stay one for the night. Very hot rates. Do we rates need any more to... this here? I mean, not necessarily, unless you want to buy more horses when you're leaving the city. Of course, the cab driver died, so they're yours now. I'm going to look at Robert John and trade him. You could. Yeah, I'm going to see if somebody wants to trade me something for these horses. So what, you're just running through the town? Horses for sale? Yeah, yeah. I'm just like screaming it. All right. Um, a man rushes up to you and says, I have what you need here. And he puts a green bottle in your hand. Says, fair trade, I'll take the horse. Anything, buddy? What's up? A man rushes up and puts a green bottle in your hand. He says, it's a fair trade. I'll take the horses. I don't believe that. It's good. It's good stuff. Trust me, you want it. Is it alcohol? Shh, 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 shh. We can't sell alcohol. I don't want that. It's Michelle, too. We've got two Michelles. <laughs> he says, we can't sell alcohol in the city, but it's good. It's good stuff. Trust me. Yeah, no, I pushed him away. I don't want that. How much do you want for the horses? <laughs> I mean, I'll take like 10 gold for him. How many horses? Two. Deal. Dave doesn't care for money, apparently. <clears throat> of course, it doesn't matter when you're already stacked, so. Yeah, I mean, I just didn't want to have to pay to keep him at freaking stable, man. And I and I pay the stable, too. It's five gold, right? Yep. All right. Brewer begins marching down the street. He picks up the little girl and puts her on, on his shoulder and begins to march. It seems like he knows where he's going. Are y'all following him? Yeah, I'm yeah. just gonna follow him. I'm and I'm keeping, guessing Michelle is keeping I'm a distance. Keeping my distance, but follow. Who is she? Who are you asking? Uh, anyone that's listening. A kid. You don't know who she is. She's a Chase. kid slithers down and transforms back into a human from an alleyway. Fuck. He goes into the alley and walks out as a man. He catches up with the group <clears throat> and says, I don't know, he's just, uh, he's always had that little girl since we met him. I don't think we've name's even... name's Peyton. I don't but... think we've introduced each other yet. Oh, um, I'm Jace. And I slam my mouth, my hand right over his mouth. Shh. I'm gonna call you Scale. Uh, looks over at Dave. She's weird. Yeah, I know. <laughs> She's gotten weirder. So. Anyway, that's me. This is Dave. Up there, that's General Brewer. And the little girl's name is Peyton. She's practically dead. I mean, we don't know that, but we, we, we kind of figure that. But... She's creepy, dude. 
she feels kind of weird. I've never seen her sleep. Exactly. So, does she look undead, or? Or does she? No. Does she look human? Yeah. She just looks like a little, just like a little girl. I'm serious. You're serious what? Serious. Okay. Who's that guy? Jace points back towards Michelle. Go fuck yourself. Nice to meet you, go fuck yourself. <clears throat> Great guy. Yeah, it seems nice when he was trying to kill me. What's Should've his problem? First. Is he like... It's just you a guys dick. make him stay back because he's like stinky or something? He's cautious. Didn't seem very cautious when he ran at me covered in fire. <laughs> we didn't say he was bright. I'm Xan. Xantha. <clears throat> Brewer quickly takes a right turn down a alleyway. <clears throat> Says it should be up here. Yes. Yes, here it is. He knocks thrice on a door at the end of the alley, and it opens up. Inside, you're instantly... Everyone in the alley is overwhelmed with the powerful scent of garlic and onions from within. It smells nice. <coughs> he walks in, letting the little girl down. And, uh, yeah. All right, I think we should all pile in. Yeah. Okay. You all enter. This does not look like an inn. It looks like somebody's house. There is a very old, tanned woman, her skin very dark, complected, with long gray hair pulled up in a ponytail. Uh, she is sewing, setting down at the table. Over to the side, you can see a pot boiling over a fire and a small, humble living room with a couple of chairs and a few tables. There are candles lit for light. You see a staircase, one that goes up and one that goes down. As she, uh, as everyone walks in, she kind of just looks up, says, Ah, brewer. I never thought I'd see you again. He very curtly responds and says, I'm here now to do what must be done. Yes, yes, you and your friends can all stay downstairs. He simply nods and begins to march downstairs holding the little girl's hand. I follow. I guess I follow. He is a man possessed. Michelle, are you in here? I feel like I should ask. I have stepped in with my back to the door quite literally. <laughs> okay, like pressed up against it? Yeah, like getting ready to run. You see the... Uh... The group go downstairs, and you're still kind of just standing there. Little old lady is sewing. She looks okay. you over for a moment. Those are fine clothes. Thank you. You must have an excellent sailor. I do. Over in heat. What the hell are you fucking with over there? She's making like a ton of fucking noise over there. Um, uh, I do have a wonderful tailor in Heathcliff. Two of Rosaline. them are really small. Rosaline comes back up the stairs. She's like, what are you doing up here? Everybody else I'm is down going, there. I'm not going down there with that. With what? The fucking snake thing. It's just a guy. Yeah, exactly. Okay. 
okay, well, I'll just stay with you because I'm afraid if I go down, your friend is going to strangle me in my sleep. That's... what? I was completely unaware of what they were doing, so I have no... Zan punched me in the fucking face! She did what? I guess she you were too busy. She hundred pounds soaking wet. How did you let her punch you in the face? I barely hit you happened. in the face. It just happened so suddenly. I don't know. I was, I was looking at the party, trying to make sure everybody's okay. I ran over and tried to heal her, and she threw me on the ground. What the fuck? That doesn't sound like her. Well, something's going on. She seems she's pretty pissed about Kalanon. Just awfully attached for having it for a whole five minutes. I know, right? You think I'd be more upset. You, I mean, you kind of just like threw it in the ground. In Heathcliff, where it was safe. Yeah, that's fair. You still just threw it in the ground. Well, fuck you too, then. What what happened with that thing? I don't know, really. Like, I went after Malleus, and after I found it, my intention was just to use it to destroy Durion. You know, just finally put them together and put an end to it. And then I got sucked in. And, you know, we were all in that nightmare dimension for some time. I don't know what happened to it. I mean, during yeah, with was cracked when you came out. Yeah, I know, but I don't know if I got to hit it or not. They're supposed to, like, both disappear when they... So I don't think that worked. But then again, he died, right? And it wasn't there. I mean, can, can the dead things really die? He came back once already, right? Yeah. I guess you're right. So I don't know. The, is the old lady totally overhearing all of? She's just staring down, sewing. What's up with the dead skeleton dude in the arm? I'm asking the old. Oh, he's always was a rotten boy, but he means well. He's Heard you like... mention Heathcliff. Yep. How is Lollian? Uh, I guess he is doing okay, especially now that Malleus is dead, right? It's good. I haven't heard anything about him except for rumors in the last 30 years. Now, yeah, he he's a, he's a bit tore up. What, he, 20, he, 20 years? Time is tricky. He looks kind of old what yeah he looks pretty old, right Roslyn I mean that's a good description yeah he was in some kind of nightmare place and time was all different and now he's like super old she kind of just stops for a moment and stares takes a breath and just goes back at it well are you planning on seeing him again anytime soon? I mean, I'm super confused because I apparently can't do something I was told by Lolliet. So, I don't... Well, if you do, tell him his big sister says hello. Wh what? Sorry, my voice is, like, giving out on me. He always was a good boy. Got picked on a lot. I was just running a con game in the streets. <laughs> and, uh, well, one thing led to another, and I became his big sister. Damn it, I'm opening up my note. Making me open my note. What's the name that of That doesn't city? matter. You should go join your friends. I am not going downstairs. City's Ryuf. R-Y-U-P-H. I mean, I don't know if it's cool to, like, just sleep up here, but, um... 
that that big boy has got like this crazy fucking demon person with him and I am not sleeping crazy demon person ah, just like suppose a, you a can problem. suppose you can rest in the couch if you like or the uh, the chair okay uh, so chair sounds good to me downstairs um <clears throat> Immediately, Willard goes over to the corner, pops open a chest, and begins digging around. <clears throat> I find the most darkest and secluded corner I can find. Okay. I mean, there's lanterns on either side of the room, so I can just always find move one. I'm going to move one in the middle of the room and just go on that side. <laughs> And watch. Okay. Chase says, uh, speaks to Dave. What, what's Brewer doing here again? I mean, like, he, he told us we had to come this way. What's he doing here? Yeah, I don't think he specified what he had to do. I think he just needed to come here to, fu to fulfill something. I mean, he's crazy. Oh, yeah, but I mean, I know I know I had to do with this girl, but like now we've made it this far, didn't we kind of fulfill our part of the deal? I mean, we got him here. That's kind of we got him here so he could protect us kind of how our kind of a deal was. Yeah, I mean, he he protected us all the way to Hellfire, but we, we went quite a bit further from there. Yeah, I'm not sure if he even needs us anymore, dude, honestly. He turns his head quickly and says, It's your decision if you want to stay. I will not stop you if you choose to go. What I'm doing will be very dangerous. But... The girl will be here for some time. Maybe if you would just keep an eye on her. I can... Pay you handsomely. I don't need money. I'm here for the adventure. I've already came this far. Well then, you'll be going with me to the Capitol building. How's that? That sounds fantastic. Oh, and uh, definitely bring all of your weapons. I need to get the stats for uh, my other sword. Yeah, I have it here. Um, I mean, do you want me to give it to you, or...? Um, yeah, I'll try to add it. Okay. Um, sorry, I had a brain fart. All right. <clears throat> Actually, we're gonna be calling it soon, so we'll we'll just we'll just hold off on giving you the stats for the sword for now. <clears throat> Go ahead, Sirius. Well, we need to keep an eye on you with the sword. No. <laughs> no. I don't need babysitting. We weren't babysitting you. Yeah, we're just I could care less what happens to you. Jace leans over cool. and says Jace leans over and says, I feel like your sword's getting a lot of attention lately. Yeah, no, no I found this thing in a cave. It's kinda of weird. I know, I mean I got this killer bow and nobody cares about that. Oh? I just says mom's cooler. You have a bow. You knew the bow was with the great sword. I'm just piping that. No. No, I knew it was under a snake. I didn't know what snake. Yeah, in the vision, it mentioned that the uh, the serpent was with the barbarian. Oh, well, it probably didn't cross my mind until now. Yeah, to be fair, I didn't pick up on that either. But I wasn't the one with the visions. 
Mm-hmm. Michelle may have been tracking that, but is currently. Uh, a... I've I've cur- you know I've been I've been busy. My mind, you know, I try to choke out a woman. I might do that a little bit later. Who knows? Oh well, I mean, that's fine with me. If they want your sword, as long as I get to keep my bow. You've got another sword, right? Not a good one, but. Well. It seems like they're just jealous because they don't have what we have. And I bring out my sword, one of my short swords, and I point it right underneath Dave's neck. And I'm like, I had my sword. That bitch stole it, and now she fucking lost it. Keep talking, and I'm just going to slit your throat. You hear from upstairs, I didn't steal your damn sword, Zam! I'll come up there and cut you myself. Cool it. Yeah, I'm going to grab Zan and walk her back to the corner. He grabbed you. <laughs> She's lucky. I was gonna grab that sword out of her hand. Mm, good grace. Dave says, uh, or Jay says, maybe we should, like, stay somewhere else? Yeah, I think that might be the best idea. Just to be safe. Uh... Well, we're going with you, regardless. There ain't no way, Jose. Look, either we go with you, or the sword comes with us. There's no two ways about this. I think I'm just going to walk out of here, and you all ain't going to do a thing about it. Be my guest. Like I told you, we'll be following you. I broke out of the room. Stands up. And he says, <clears throat> Dave can handle himself. Much more resilient, the group of you. Trust me. I get, bad man. I get comfortable and I start, I try to finally start meditating because my goal was trying to meditate. Uh, he puts his hand on your shoulder, Cirrus, and kind of like wraps an arm around you. Not in a friendly way, more in a hey, I'm here kind of way. And he points off towards Dave and says, I watched that man fight a vampire. He got angry and bit him. He bit a vampire. I don't know how he's still alive, but somehow he manages. I don't need no help. Let's see. Trust me when I say, the sword will be safe. I'm I've not abandoning the group. I'm coming back the next day. I just don't feel comfortable. Somebody might try and steal my sword. You don't have to worry about us stealing it. As long as you do what you are what you agreed to. I'm a man of my word. I ain't going anywhere unless you give me a reason to. But as far as vampires go, I've stood in fire, faced down death itself innumerable times, killed a necromancer, killed a dragon. Those feats are greater than mine. I just been a vampire because he was trying to bite me. I wasn't having that. As I was going out the door, though, I'm still going to try and find myself a place to stay, preferably nearby. Brewer says, uh, there's an inn down the street, though I wouldn't recommend it. The locals don't take kindly to outsiders. The nearest place I could figure. Uh, there's a few others in town. More closer to the Capitol building. Maybe that wouldn't be a bad idea, since that's where we're headed. Tell you what, I'll get one near the capital, and then you all meet me there in the morning before we head. Be hard to meet you there when we don't know why he's staying. Brewer knows this place better than anyone. He should be able to get you to one. Well, there's a couple of places near the capital. Maybe take someone with you so they can get back. 
I have business in the city anyway. That's fine, as long as they don't stick around very long. Okay. Zan, would you like to come with me? I'm meditating. I want to nudge her with my foot. What? I think you should come with me. Now? Now. Jace can come with me and just fly back and tell him where we're at. Oh, yeah. I always forget I can do that. Well, ever since Almost got knocked off of that mountain, it's been, uh, well, you know. And all that, yeah. all that nonsense having you flying on my back with salt, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta fast travel. I, I... All right, can I interject for a second? Yeah. Uh, upstairs, I asked the old lady if she likes music. Sure. Play a tune. I'm going to start uh, playing my fiddle and singing a sea shanty. And assuming Rosalind kind of kicks in, too. Of course. Like I was saying... I'm, I'm, I'm just kicking that in while they're doing the thing. I, 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 as I'm saying, I, I roll my eyes and I go, fine, but we're making it quick. Alright. Okay. So, any last little bits of dialogue before we tie up tonight? No, I think I'm good. I mean, all I was going to do was buy a sword. Okay. I'll sell you my short sword. 